Good morning, family. It is a beautiful day here in Orlando, Florida. And today we're gonna go to a uh, festival. It's called the Fusion Fest 2023. There's food trucks, vendors, and other activities from cultures from all over the world. So I hope you're hungry and let's go on this food adventure. Fusion Fest 2023. So I am here at Fusion Fest Orlando 2023. It's pretty interesting. Uh, the space is not as big as I thought it would be, but it's still a very good size. There's a lot to do here. So I feel like there's not gonna be as many lines for eating and for other stuff, because there's a lot of options. You got a stage back there. All right, you have food vendors all over the place. All right, you uh, you seem to have some uh, arts and crafts over there. You have the kids area over there. So yeah, there's a lot to do here. A lot to do, a lot to explore, a lot to eat. So let's go. They have some stores here as well. Some stores. Hats, art, arts and crafts, and then it got dark. Uh, candles, so yeah, really, really interesting place, really interesting place. Very cool. A lot of variety of stuff. It's like they they purposely look for things from different cultures to showcase a little bit of everything. And you know, you can really see the diversity and everything that Orlando and the world has to offer through you know just coming here and just taking a look around, seeing seeing the different cultures, seeing what it's like. So I'm excited. The day's just starting and I'm excited already. Are you people? You make these yourself? Oh okay, okay. What are the flavors? But the empanadas have different kinds. The larger one is shredded beef or cheese. And then the small ones are chicken or brown. Chicken or what? Rounded. Okay. Then we have the pecanian, which are cheese. Okay. They're what? All right. Cheese. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't know you had some sauces. The garlic cilantro. Okay. Sweet guava. Ooh. Well, you know what I want. Garlic cilantro. Okay. That's my favorite. I want Oh, no, no. Okay, we got empanadas. Oh, that's cheese. All right, well, I got one of everything, so let's do the beef one first. Beef empanada, good amount of beef. Mmm, want a sauce? Mmm. Mmm. You want this one? Yeah. Which one's the guava? This man. This man. Probably this one? I think so. Because that's the smoky chipotle there. Ooh, this is Wait, a guava sauce. Let me have a bite before you eat that whole thing. Okay. I didn't get any meat. I got all bread. Dada? Mm. Oh, yeah. Dada, you can try this. I will soon, thank you. A little guava sauce right here. Is it sweet? You want me to try this? Yeah. Remy wants me to try this. Is it good, Doctor? Mmm. Yeah, I told you it's good, Doctor. Yeah. Why don't you try this one? This cheese one's really good. Cilantro, 
garlic cilantro. Cilantro garlic. Really good. Chicken. Chicken? That cheese is a lot better than I thought. I thought it was just gonna be like a cheese stick. But it's actually really good. Really, really good. Chicken's okay. Yeah, I like the beef. The beef with the guava. So good. So, so good. Let me try the, the one you That was a lot better than I expected. Me? A lot better. You like this? Fantastic, based out of Tampa, amazing. So the taiyaki isn't ready yet. So we're going to eat some of the other stuff and then we'll have the taiyaki later. Probably in about 10, 20 minutes. Is it good? Yes. Let's have some food. Yeah, let's have some food. Let's have some dango. Me, me and dad didn't have Oh, you, oh, he just took a bite of it? Yeah. So it's not as, um, it's not as chewy as, as the one in Japan. The one in Japan, they're, they're chewier. This one's very soft. I actually don't like it that it's so soft. I like it when it's, when it's a lot chewier. Mm. It's rough. Mm. Might have been that first one. When it's chewier, it means that the rice flour is pounded more. Because it's pounded more, it becomes a little bit tougher. I gotta share it. So, I like that. Glaze is a little sweet, not too sweet. You can tell they, they were not preparing these on the spot. They had them ready and just gave them to you. So, a little disappointing, but hey, not bad. Not bad, just a little disappointing. Mm -hmm. Dada. Dada, is it good? Yeah. It is? The seasoning. The seasoning is actually pretty good. The seasoning's really good. The seasoning on the chicken is really, really good. I like that. The chicken, it's not crispy, but the seasoning's really good. All right. Gotta go get some taiyaki. Looks like pizza. So this is pizza. It's a pizza flavor. Well, first bite was all dough. Look at that cheese. You want to eat that? Yeah. Okay. And this is a kimchi and cheese one. This one is fantastic. Mm. So the spatter is actually spatter is actually homemade and she does such a good she can you help with the cheese it's such a good batter it's such a good batter i don't know i don't know how she learned i don't know where she learned maybe i'll ask her but it's just such a good batter so the filling goes so well because the pat the batter is already good so good 
It's so good. It's well, it's getting a little hotter, getting a little sunnier. Uh, looking for more food. There's plenty of options, but the hard part is deciding which one to get. About to order some Peruvian food, and then maybe going to get some uh, German meatballs. So let's get the Peruvian food first. Well, unfortunately, I already took a bite and it wasn't recording. But this is really good. Really good. It's really strong flavor. Like German cuisine usually has a strong flavor. Very meaty. This is definitely not just meat, uh, not just beef. Not, is this not just beef? Right, beef? Yes. This is not just beef. There's some other stuff in here too. There's a cranberry, lingonberry sauce here. Let me try to get that. I don't really care for the sauce. But the meatball itself, fantastic. Yuca fry, got something, got a yuca fry. Pretty salty. But let's see. This is a sauce that comes with it. It's a cream sauce. The sauce is good. The sauce is good. It actually really helps. It goes along with it very well. Very creamy, very flavorful. It's got, um, I can't describe it. It tones down the saltiness for sure. It gives it a little bit of spice. Good sauce. Well, that's the end to day one, but stay tuned because there's still a lot more to come and a lot more to eat. So here's the thing. It's cloudy, it's drizzly, it's coming, the rain's in and out. But you know what? It is still a beautiful day here in Orlando, Florida. And we're about to go into Fusion Fest, day two. See you there. Fusion Fest Orlando, 2023. There's some very loud music playing right now. So, uh, yeah. I'm basically gonna get Hawaiian food and a drink because I have kombucha and I need my daily kombucha and we'll go from there. All right, well, luckily I found a table that's half dry. So I got some kombucha. This is the kombucha. Uh, apparently it's a Florida brand. So maybe we will actually be able to visit the store. So one day soon, just you know. Daily kombucha. And then we're gonna go eat something, but right now everything just came out of the freezer. They just got here, so you know they said to wait a little bit, let it kind of um, warm up, get to room temperature, and then we'll go from there. All right. Oh, very strong um, ginger taste. Ginger? I want to say ginger. I want to say ginger. It's not as sweet as the ones that I'm used to. Still refreshing. I don't know what elderberry is supposed to taste like. Maybe elderberry is a little bitter. That's why it tastes a little bitter. But there is a little bit of a bitter taste. Not bad. Not bad, just not quite used to it, but hey, it's kombucha. So I got some Ukrainian food. This is a Ukrainian kebab. These are some Ukrainian pierogi and meat pie thing. Right, I'm gonna try the kebab first because it says this goes well with ketchup, so let's try it. So first of all, it's served cold. He did say some of the food is served cold traditionally. I don't know why, maybe it's too cold over there, but 
The ketchup doesn't really cover the flavor. The thing is, it's a good meatball, so the ketchup doesn't cover it. It kind of just makes it a little bit more creamy because it's cold, so it's not going to be warm and dissolve in your mouth. So not bad. Not bad. Not, not, not bad. Not bad. All right. Let's try this. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, the dough is folded over too, and the meat's folded over. It looks kind of shredded. I'm liking this one. I'm liking this one. All right. Time to the pierogies. I don't know which one's which, but they're both vegetarian, no meat. Potato. Nice and creamy. Hard shell, which I love, because then the inside is nice and creamy. Great combination, love this one. I think this one's cabbage. Really good, We're also really good. So, after eating that meatball, that first one, I don't know if it was the way it was cut or what it was. I don't know if it was the way it was cut or what it was. But that first one was a little bit tougher. The other ones, delicious. Really good. Really good. Really, really good. Again, I don't like that it was cold, but still really good. Ooh. Ooh. You hear that? That's how good it was. That's how good it was. Man, this that was really good. And they're actually right now working out of a rent a restaurant place. They're trying to build it out and make a real restaurant or build it out and make a restaurant somewhere else. I mean, really good stuff. Really good stuff. All right, so I went to the Hawaiian place earlier and this wasn't ready yet. It's called Musubi. It's basically spam sushi, but it's done the Hawaiian way, not the Japanese way. So. I've actually never had this before. I always see it. I always read about it, but I've never had it. So decided to give it a try. So here's the thing. The rice is pretty good. Seaweed's pretty good. I don't think the Spam brings everything together. I think if anything, the seaweed and the rice make the Spam better. The Spam doesn't make the seaweed and the rice better. So, that's what I got. This is some Jamaican food. Got some jerk chicken, rice and beans, homemade spicy sauce, homemade barbecue sauce. So here's the thing about me and Jamaican food. I don't seek Jamaican food. I don't go out looking for Jamaican food. But if I see Jamaican food, probably gonna eat it. It's very, it's very flavor, it's a very flavorful cuisine. It's a very bold, it's very bold flavors. So, you know, I really, I really like that. So if I see it, I'm going to eat it, but I don't, I don't go out looking for it. So let's get some rice and spicy sauce. See what it's like. Oh, that's habanero. Ooh. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's spicy. Oh yeah. That's spicy. With the chicken. That's delicious. That spicy sauce with the chicken. Oh. It goes really well. It goes really, really well. Jamaican food has strong spices. Like I said, strong flavor. So I think the spiciness kind of brings down the spice a little bit and it hits you with the with the spiciness. So try this barbecue sauce. <clears throat> 
because the guy insisted that I have the barbecue sauce. So. Homemade barbecue sauce. Oh my God. Oh my God. That is some delicious sauce. Oh wow, yes. Oh yes, yes. So I understand why he wanted me to have that homemade barbecue sauce. It's sweet and spicy. This other one's more spice. The barbecue sauce actually adds flavor to everything too. This is a little sweet. So with the spices being so strong and the sauce being sweet, it balances it out. Watch out for the wet. Oh, yes, yes. So I am so full, so full. Eating everything by myself makes it so much harder. Plus today I've had a lot of starch and stuff. But there's something I've had my eye on since I got here yesterday. It's a churro cheesecake empanada. Churro cheesecake empanada. And that might be the last thing of the day. But maybe not. So let's see. Let's go get it. So this is a much bigger empanada than I thought it would be. But more and more I'm thinking this is going to be the last thing for the day. All right. Here we go. Oh, my God. It's covered in cinnamon sugar. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I mean, I don't think there's much more to say. Cheesecake in an empanada fried with cinnamon sugar on top. That's the end of the day. That's that's literally the end of the day. That's that's just the end of the day. That's just the way it is. It has to be. It just has to be. After two days of eating at Fusion Fest from plates all around the world, I have to say my favorite one is well, family, I hope you enjoyed watching me eat around the world. It was amazing. It was fun. It was delicious. I had a great time. I hope you did too. So hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that notification bell so you know when I'm always going to post a new video, which is going to be every single week. But most importantly, stay hungry, and I'll see you on the next food adventure.